The frantic search is underway this morning off the coast of Australia for a couple of passengers believed to have fallen overboard from a Carnival cruise ship. NBC's Keir Simmons is in our London newsroom with details on that. Keir, good morning. Good morning, Matt. The couple now have likely been in the water for hours. They were vacation with family and friends, loved ones left waiting, hoping for news. A desperate search by air and sea for two passengers missing this morning. Their disappearance discovered only when their ship, Carnival Spirit, docked in Sydney Harbour at the end of a 10-day cruise. New South Wales police say surveillance video shows the couple, a woman in her 20s and a 30-year-old man, falling from the ship's deck Wednesday night. The ship was 65 nautical miles off the coast. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family and the friends and... and these two individuals and we're, we're pulling out all stops. The Carnival Spirit is owned by Carnival Cruise Lines, a subsidiary of Carnival Corp, the world's largest cruise operator, recently plagued with cruising disasters. Just this past February, Carnival Triumph in the Gulf of Mexico had no working toilets and limited food after a fire in the engine room. In March last year, Costa Allegra, another fire, leaving passengers with no running water or air conditioning for three days. And in January of last year, one of the most high-profile incidents in recent cruising history, the Costa Concordia ran aground off the coast of Italy, leaving 32 dead. So far, no comment from Carnival Corporation, but in the past, its spokesperson has emphasised that Carnival's ships are extremely safe. The question, Matt, is how did the couple fall overboard? No life preservers are missing, which might have suggested one person was trying to save the other, Matt. All right, Keir Simmons in London. Keir, thank you very much.